So let's say the J is the current density uh, and J is defined as di, d, uh, di over dA. It's how much current is flowing in a surface area, in a certain surface area. So it's equivalent to the surface, surface charge density. So kappa r squared. So let's say it's increasing as a function of r. So uh, if I give you this on the test, I could give you kappa r cubed, kappa r to the 1, kappa r negative 1. I could make here any power that I want. And then so you would go through the you would go through that integral again, B dl equals uh, mu zero i enclosed, and then you would do an integral for the i enclosed to find out what is the current enclosed. So i enclosed equals integral j dA. And then J is kappa R squared dA is the surface is the surface uh, area of a small uh, shell. Like if you look at a face value of uh, uh, face view right here, cross sectional view, the dA is the surface area of that little washer. Okay, so that's going to be. 2 pi r dr. That's the dA. So I enclose this kappa r squared 2 pi r dr. So to 2 pi kappa comes out of the integral. Then you have integral of r cubed dr from 0 to little r because I'm trying to find out how much current is enclosed up to little r. And then I get 2 pi kappa r to the fourth over four. Then you do another integral. Again, this is very same routine as we do for Gauss's law. Uh, you do another integral for i total. And this time, you integrate from 0 to big R. And you're going to get 2 pi kappa r to the fourth over four. But this time, it's the total radius, right? So I didn't really have to start the integral all the way from the beginning. I knew if I enclosed was 2 pi kappa r to the fourth over 4, two, I total was going to be 2 pi kappa r to the big R to the fourth over 4. So now I want to get rid of this 2 pi. So what I do is I say 2 pi kappa over 4 is equal to I total over big R to the fourth. And then I substitute that over there. Because what I'm interested in is uh, 2 pi kappa over 4 disappears. And I'm interested, therefore, it just becomes I total times uh, R to the fourth over R to the fourth. So that's usually what the answer is. The answer is I enclosed is some ratio times I total. So I want to know within a certain radius little r, how much of the current is enclosed in that little cylinder as compared to the total current, right? So now I put that back into the B 2 pi r. And then the one of the r's cancels and you get r cubed. If you're still a little confused about what I'm doing here, I'm going a little bit faster here than when I did in chapter 24. So I would say go back to the 24 notes, view those videos or whatever, read over the notes. 
because I'm basically doing a very similar thing for B field here uh, as I did for the E field. And then the B field uh, now for a wire goes up as a cubic. And then again, you can check for continuity. When you put, uh, when you put little r is big R, over here, you should get mu zero r cubed over two pi r to the fourth, so it should end up being mu zero i over two pi r. So again, the, the maximum current, the maximum magnetic field is mu zero i over two pi r, and then after that it decreases as one over r and as one over r squared. So this time, it increases as a cubic function. So what, uh, what that means is it, it, it decreases a little slower at the beginning, and, but it increases, uh, it kind of catches up eventually. Because what happened here in this uh, wire, the current was non-uniform. So that means there was less current here in the center. And then as you get towards the edges, so most of the current is flowing on the outer parts of the wire. So that's why it would make sense. The B field would be weak in the center, and it would grow more slowly at the beginning. But then as you go farther, it would get stronger and stronger inside of the wire. <clears throat> OK, now let's talk about.